Hello, Alexei. Hello. Thank you for taking this interview, informal talk um, regarding sustainability, uh, some things re uh, related to interfaces and all these kinds of things, and biodatabases, of course. So maybe I will start introducing myself, and you can introduce yourself. Of course. And we start with the interview. So my name is Antia. I am part of the Interfaces Project, and I'm doing my PhD between Asian Science in Sweden and the University of Oviedo in Oviedo, Spain. Now, if you want to introduce yourself. Yeah. Uh, so, hi, my name is Alexei. Uh, I have an organic chemistry background. Uh, I do, for six and a half years, work, uh, is working at uh, Angel Genzyme, uh, where we're working with the mo uh, mobilization of enzymes, uh, developing processes. And currently, I'm a director of biocatalysis and leading a team that is actually developing and optimizing immobilized things. That sounds great. Maybe we can start talking about a little bit. Uh, what did you want to participate in interfaces as a company? Mm. I think uh, any type of consortium and especially interfaces uh, to take into account how rich it is uh, with different uh, in the industries and academics, it's a great environment to uh, to share knowledge, uh, it is uh, a great environment to, to innovate and develop new things, new sustainable processes. Uh, so, and that's also one of the, uh, the great platforms to, uh, to find talent and uh, to, to find new, uh, new collaborations, uh, either within the industry or even the team. Yeah. And uh, a lot of new ideas, right? Correct. Um, more specifically. What does your company do for the development, sustainability, or circular bioeconomy? Hmm. That's actually uh, a relatively easy question. So it's like Angel Genzyme is working in developing uh, processes using enzymes, either mobilized enzymes uh, or free enzymes sometimes. And through uh, developing processes based on enzymes, we're targeting a uh, more sustainable approach to uh, to manufacture chemicals and to, to, to run the processes mm. due to the fact that in uh, in the majority of the cases enzyme uh, enzyme processes are characterized with uh, uh, lower uh, and or reduced wastes reduced energy consumption so through the development of the efficient process using uh, immobilized enzymes we do try to contribute to sustainability that's a good answer. And because you are a company, because I guess that the answer to the following question is different depending if you are coming from university or from a company. Uh, the main point of a company is to make profit, mm. to make money. How does the job market in biocatalysis or biotechnology look like right now? And what do you expect in the near future? Mm. I think uh, we all can see that uh, a lot of industries started to pay attention to sustainability. A lot of industries started to pay attention to, to enzymes and biocatalysis. Uh, that also, that only means that with time, uh, there'll be higher and higher demand in well-educated uh, uh, people, researchers that can contribute to the development of uh, uh, bio-based processes. Uh, so, in my opinion, uh, it's only uh, going to grow. Or to you. <laughs> and now we can maybe give uh, more specific data um, regarding what you can do or what we can do at Engine Sign. So, for example, how big can we, or up to how, yeah, how we can scale up the attention Sign? Mm. So if we're talking about internal capabilities, uh, so we do currently have, let's say, a five-lit five lit reactor. Uh, and that's uh, enough for us to, to study the process in details, uh, get the, the necessary data in order to later go to our uh, established partners uh, where we already uh, kind of taken advantage of the, uh, the knowledge 
uh, of the partners and our knowledge of the process and to, to together scale up uh, the process or the catalyst production to the target scales. So let's say that up to five liters you can do it in house. Correct. Bigger amounts you need a partner. Yes. Great. How can you ensure predictability of the catalyst or the process scale up? Because um, that's a big risk. It is a big risk, and it's also uh, quite a uh, big uh, focus within uh, Angelgen Zion. Uh, first of all, we do have dedicated team uh, of process engineers who are responsible uh, for the scale-up and who has the knowledge required for scale-up, uh, for the scale-up. At the same time, uh, on the regular basis, we do have a very systematic approach to our investigation and our opt uh, optimizations, uh, where we track uh, uh, multitudes of different parameters of the process uh, in order to, to ensure that we know the process well. At the same time, we are implementing uh, modeling techniques uh, for the reaction, to, to study reactions, uh, in order to, um, um, for us to, to, um, to be able to anticipate any, any problems or any, uh, any inconsistencies that might occur uh, during this case. And how reliable do you think that is the, these models and predictions? In terms that, do you find any differences between the scale at which you prepare the catalyst, mm. for example, in activity or in stability? Um, short answer is, uh, things are complicated. Of course, uh, we do face, uh, inconsistencies between scales. Uh, however, we do try to uh, to early on identify where can we expect the inconsistencies to be, and it's either through the extensive uh, lab work and investigation of the reaction, or through the uh, the uh, the modeling that I was talking about. Uh, it is always important uh, to to keep track of, uh, let's say, the enzyme sources and uh, and have a very thorough quality control of the mobilized enzymes is one of the things that uh, one of the parameters that uh, will be important in the process is the uh, whether or not uh, the the target uh, the target compound mm -hmm. and uh, uh, let's say there is no extra impurities that goes into to the downstream uh, downstream units of yeah the more you know in small scale the better Right. And yes, to, to finalize, uh, because uh, immobilizing an enzyme, that would mean um, adding extra steps to your wor workflow. Mm. Could you summarize in three points, something like that? What are the main advantages of using an immobilized enzyme at industrial scale? Mm. Uh, totally agree. Uh, immobilized enzymes are much more uh a complicated process uh, than just having the free answer. However, it comes with advantages such as you can extensively reuse the enzyme. Um, so it means that either it's uh, through the, the batch recyclability or you are operating the process in the bad reactor, uh, ensuring the, the, uh, the cost benefit of reusing enzyme and running the column for, let's say, months on stream. Uh, uh, these cost benefits are uh, bigger than the the uh, the cost that we put in the mobilizing board. Uh, exactly. It is also important uh, in in some processes. It is necessary to mobilize because then, uh, let's say, if we're switching the media from aqueous media to organic media, then it is quite challenging to uh, not to mobilize and so on. So then you have an extra benefit of enabling the process uh, that you have in mind and enabling the production of the chemical uh, that's, uh, yeah, that you have in mind. That was so nice. Thank you. And it was a great talk. Thank you very much, Alexei. Thank you, Antia. Thank you.